This is game three of a four game set with the Texas Rangers. And uh, last night, Shohei Otani returned to the lineup and uh, Gooby for the first time since late August homered and had a couple of hits. Really looked comfortable in the batter's box yes, last night, Victor. That was good to see, especially on some pitches. There were tough pitches against a pitcher that has had a lot of success against the Angels, but Shohei has a lot of success against Lance Lynn. Two for three with that home run first since August 25th for Shohei Otani. Also got a base hit, hit the ball. Exit velocity on both swings yesterday were excellent for Shohei. Scored a couple runs as well. These pitches on the outside part of the plate, that's very important to see from Shohei. He was not bailing out. He was staying back. He's able to get his arms extended and getting pitches on the lower half. Why? The back foot was still. And when he's able to do that, you talk about getting through the baseball so well and launching that, using that lower part of his body, keeping that front hip in there, and crushed it out. It had been uh, about a week since he had played, and it certainly helped that Joe Madden put him in there against a guy uh, against whom he's had some success against. Yeah, I, I still think, though, when you haven't played it in a long time, you're facing a guy with a pretty good fastball. Still, his timing was there, which is pretty shocking to think about that, but Shohei Otani always surprises us. Well, we're stepping away for a moment as we continue to get you ready for game three of this four-game set. One of the bright spots of late especially has been the bullpen, and we'll focus in on that when we return. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna airdrop. I'm here momentarily. Battle for second place, the American League West. Yes, that is still going on. The Angels at the start of the day, three and a half back of the Houston Astros. They do have the Seattle Mariners ahead of them. The Angels and the Rangers will wrap up this four-game set tomorrow afternoon, and then the Padres and Dodgers await the Angels five games. And by the way, keep an eye on the Toronto Blue Jays. They have fallen back in that eighth spot in the playoff position may be an option as well. You know what, Gooby? You keep an eye on him. I will. Here's Chris <laughs> Woodward's lineup for today's game. Leota Tavares leading things off at center field. Willie Calhoun in left. Isaiah kiner falefa at third base. Joey Gallows in right. Rudin at Odor at second. Anderson Tejeda, the shortstop. Derek Dietrich, who was in the on-deck circle when the game ended last night. He'll DH today. Ronald Guzman is at first base. And Sam Huff, their uh, top prospect behind the plate, is uh, getting to start once again catching and batting ninth. Julio Tehran's on the mound, and uh, it has not been a pretty season for him. Ninth game, eighth start, 0-3 and an 890 ERA. Chance to turn around just in one game here today. My go-to is for him to have successful hit pitches against the Rangers is you got to keep that fastball in the lower quadrant throughout. Use that two-seam and even four-seam fastball lower zone and better success with the all-speed pitch. Hitters in 340 versus his all-speed pitch this year. Much better pitcher than that to make better quality pitches, especially against this Rangers lineup. Check out the uh, Angels uh, the defensive front. Justin Upton's back in the lineup. That's good to see after getting hit a couple of nights ago. Trout and Ward rounding out the outfield. Rendon, Simmons, Fletcher, Walsh in the infield. Ben Boo behind the plate. Tehran is on his game today. Anthony Rendon will see a lot of action over a third base. 974 fielding percentage, third best. He's turned seven double plays at third base. The top third of the order. Rendon, Otani, and Upton in the middle third with Otani DH and then Ward and right then boom behind the plate. Simmons is the starting shortstop. 26 year old right hander, native of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Kyle Cody's on the bump for Texas. Seventh appearance, fourth start, 0 and 1, and a 1.42 ERA. He's got a good fastball, 93 97 with a slider. A lot of those, and a change up. My go to's to be successful against him this afternoon is jump on some early fastball so far, jumping on that fastball early on. Two for three hitters are, and punch that slider the other way. Goes about 37% of his pitches are sliders. 